And isn't it true, Colonel, that the only shred of evidence you have against Mrs. Rotke is her own statement, since none of the passengers on the airplane actually saw her do anything? Object, Your Honor. Mr. Hellring is leading the witness. Your sir. Honor, every single passenger on that plane was interrogated. I think the question demands an answer. I agree. Overruled. Please continue, Mr. Hellring. Thank you, sir. I'll repeat the question. Isn't it true that the only evidence you have against Mrs. Rotke is her own statement? Yes, I would say that. And isn't it also true that Mrs. Rotke told you that she had begged Mr. Teeley not to go through with the hijacking and that actually she attempted to prevent it? Objection, Your Honor. Overruled. The witness will please answer that question. She did say that. Yes, she Your did. Honor, what Sigrid Rotke may or may not have said to Teeley on that plane doesn't matter. The point is she did use her own daughter to smuggle a gun on board, and she did hand that gun to Teeley. And then she did nothing whatsoever to warn the captain, the crew, or the passengers that a hijacking, a hijacking was about to take place. I'm inclined to agree with you, Mr. Sherman, but whether or not Mrs. Radke attempted to withdraw from the scheme is a matter to be decided at a trial, not at this preliminary hearing. Anything further, Mr. Elring? No, Your Honor. Nothing further. Does the government wish to re-examine? Not at this time, Your Honor. Very well. The witness may step down. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, the court rules that there is probable cause. Excuse me, Your Honor. Mr. Best? Yes, Your Honor. Um, I've been advised by my colleague, Frau Becker, that there is here in Berlin a perfectly valid constitution, very similar to our own, similar in its protection of individual rights. But it doesn't provide for the specific elements of due process as we understand them, in particular, the right to a trial by jury. My client would like to know at this time if he will have a trial before his peers, citizens of Berlin, as guaranteed by the American Constitution.